In this video, I am gonna show you how to pull across your inventory count from your inventory Shopify report and add it into your products export report. So this is the product export. This is an inventory export I've got here. Um, they used to have this column in this export. So when you exported all your products from Shopify, it used to show you your inventory count. So how many products you had for each um, SKU item. For some reason, they took that out because it's such a useful piece of information they decided to remove it from the export report. I don't know why, but I imagine some developer thought that was a good idea and there's a technical reason, maybe. Anyway, so now the workaround is, a quick Google search found um, AbleBits have got this merging cell um, option. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy a cell from another report and bring that over and we're gonna cross check it. Um, you can get it here, Merge Sheets, it's called, it's from AbleBits. Uh, once you get it installed, it just reload your, um, you know, if you install it in here, reload, just refresh the page and it'll appear under add-ons here, merge sheets. So what I'm gonna do, I've got my inventory spreadsheet here. We're gonna copy all of these. I'm just gonna copy this entire sheet and I'm gonna go back into my all products. I'm gonna add a new sheet below here and then I'm gonna paste that in. I'm just gonna rename this one inventory. Let's just give that a second to paste in. You probably could do this with two individual um, pages open, but I think it's having it in two sheets means you can work together. I think it actually probably works like this. So I'm just gonna call this inventory so I know what it is. So inside here, I've got my inventory count column. Okay, so bring these together, put your inventory and your SKU number together, and then go to the products export. And from here, I click insert right, and I'm just gonna rename this something like variant quantity. So what we're gonna do now is match up this SKU number to this sheet's SKU number here, and then we're gonna say, give me all this quantity, match them up, and then drop them into this column here. Okay, so that's how we do it. So we go to add-ons and we click start. So this is the merge sheet add-on. If I just scroll over to the right, we should be able to see both. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Right, here we go. Um, I don't wanna take this. I've used this once. You might actually have to buy it eventually. Um, in fact, the time it's just saved me is probably worth buying eventually for me when I use it. So what I'm gonna do is gonna, I wanna highlight these two columns together like that. So I'm highlighting them, saying these are two I'm working with, N and O. And then we click Next. And it's then asking me which columns here on the inventory one. So let me just go to here. I want these two. So there you go, I and J. Um, so that's what it's doing, select the lookup column sheet. So that's what I'm saying to it, select the lookup. And then it's saying select matching columns. So I wanna select matching columns to be my variant SKU. I want to match with the SKU on my inventory sheet. Okay, don't check this one yet, go to the next page. And then I'm saying select columns to add or update. So I wanna update my main sheet now with the SKU number from the other sheet. And it's add values to or update values in, sorry, update values in, select the column variant quantity. So if you remember, this is the um, column that I've typed and the new sheet, I've actually put a typo there. So that's on my new sheet. So what it's saying now is copy everything from this column, um, Kemp Town, update the values in the new spreadsheet called variant quantity, and then click next. Um, you can do this to check this one, add non-matching rows um, to the end of the table and add a status column. So this will actually tell you if you've got things like missing rows um, stuff like that. And you can choose the colors if you want. I didn't bother, click next. And then what it does over here on the right, you should start to see the variant quantity appear. In fact, you'll see a new row. There you go, new column gets added as it's still processing and there you go. So it says here, we've got 933 of the 2,049 matching rows were found. Um, and 109, well, sorry, 1,933 rows were updated, 56 were missing. And what you can do then, if you just wanna confirm that this has worked, you know, you can just scroll on down here. What I did is I copy one of these SKU numbers here, 
And even just go, you could go to the sheet you've got here and do a double check. I actually went over to the main sheet that I had copied off before. I'll do a quick search in there. There's the SKU number. It shows me I've got 24. So if I go back to the product count that I was, um, I've pulled over. I think it was that one with 24. Let me double check. 106, there it is. And I've done this a few times. So I'd scroll on down. Um, here's one with 85. So copy this SKU number here and then go to, so we've got 85, then go to the inventory report again, search. There's the SKU, there's the number 85. I've done this a few times. You could do this as many times as you like just to confirm to yourself that it has worked. Here's another one with 12. Um, so if I go back to the other inventory report and do a search, there you go, it shows 12 down here. So that is how you do it. Shopify, if you watch this video, I don't know why you took that column out um, because it saves for me running this site, it saves me having to buy another app um, that I then have to use that I'm going to spend. You know, Some of the apps are great, all that, I understand. I totally get it, but for 19 quid a month or something to do a simple report of like that, I don't need to do it. So it just depends on your own budget and what you're doing. But I know for this site that I run for the client, they don't want to spend that. So they, I can go on a quick report like that and it's done or they will actually go and do it themselves now because they can watch this video. So that's how you can get your inventory quantity amounts pulled into your product export spreadsheet. Find out things like your total cost price or to how much stock you've got on hand in cost price or how much stock you've got in retail value. So you obviously would times your quantity by your cost price and then you could run a check if you wanted to know your cost. So insert on the right. For example, if I just go, I want to create a sum. So equals, I want to times the um, quantity that I've got. So how many items I've got with the price. So I click on that one, press enter. It comes up with an autofill suggest. It does the whole lot down there for me. And then at the bottom, I can run a total on see how much um, stock value I've got in hand at cost price. Hope that video helps some of you. Um, and if it does, let me know. And if you want any Shopify help, feel free to reach out.